What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Subside and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an automatic pumpkin and melon farm. And a big shout out to JC Plays and N Vortex for this design. I'll leave a link to their channels in the description below. And I chose this design because it's really easy to build and it's very easy to expand. So this is just a 5x5 five five area to start with. But if you wanted to, you could make this into a single chunk. Just like I've done in my Minecraft survival realm. So this is a 16 by 16 melon and pumpkin farm. So this can be expanded quite big. I mean, the rates on this are amazing. Like again, constant pumpkins. And because I don't really use melons, I've set up a collection system for melons down below. Pop them through into the compost maker to turn it all into bone meal. And you can see I've got unlimited supply of bone meal as well as an unlimited supply of pumpkin. And if you're new to the channel and you want to be kept up to date on all the latest Minecraft builds, farms and redstone contraptions, make sure you're subscribed. Now let's get straight into the build. So the items you're going to need for the build are 6 pumpkin seeds, 6 melon seeds, 48 glass, 12 observers, 2 powered rails, 12 redstone, 12 pistons, 23 rails, two redstone torches, 25 dirt, four torches, two chests, two slabs of any kind, 44 building blocks of any kind, one hopper, one water bucket, and one minecart with hopper. First, we're gonna start with our building blocks, our powered rails, our standard rails, redstone torches, our hopper, chests, and slab. So we're gonna start by building a five long pathway like so so one two three four five then come across one two three four come across one two three four and then three here next you can just fill in this area like so come to one corner and you want to come up two and do the same on the other side so come up two here and then we're going to come across two blocks so one two and then we're going to dig these two blocks out and then dig these four blocks out Next, you want to place your chests down, grab your hopper, crouch and place your hopper on top of the chest, making sure it's funneling down into the chest. Grab a slab and place that next to your hopper like so. Next, grab your powered rail. We're going to place one powered rail against this block and then some standard rails. You're going to have to crouch and place one on top of your hopper and you're going to place them coming in a zigzag line all the way to the other end. Now, if this happens, don't worry, just place another one there. If it connects to that, all you need to do is break them both, place a rail there, rail there, and then replace your powered rail like so. So continue putting down your rails in a zigzag formation like so, all the way around, oh, until you get to this end and then place down another powered rail. Now come next to your powered rail and we're gonna dig out two blocks underneath and place a redstone torch. And you can replace that block if you want to. Do the same for the other side. So we're going to break two blocks, place a redstone torch, and then replace that block. So you've got two powered powered rails on the ends of your railway track. And what you want to do is come to your powered rail and build up four blocks. So one, two, three, and four, getting rid of the three blocks below. Now you want to repeat the pattern below. So we want to come one, two, three, four. So five across in total. One, two, three, four one two three four and one two three then fill this platform in completely but get rid of the middle block like so next grab your pistons and you want to come to the powered rail look up and place one skip one place one skip one place one and you want to do this checkered pattern all the way down except for this middle line where we're going to put one on the end skip three blocks one on the end here two in, like so and then skip in a block each time so we should have something looking like this now we just need to get rid of this platform completely so get rid of all the temporary blocks on top so you should have something that looks a little bit like this now next you want to come to this piston and place two blocks and get rid of this block and leaving this block here grab your observers and you want to have these facing down like so so this dot is at the top and you've got the face underneath. Do this in every gap between your pistons, making sure, like I said, this red dot is always at the top. So it should be looking like this now. Next, what we wanna do is grab our redstone 
and we're going to place one redstone dust on top of each observer like so making sure you don't put them on the back of the pistons because now what we're going to do is place a solid block on top of each piston and the middle block so just come across the top placing a solid block between each redstone dust So you've got this sort of checkered pattern on top. Next you want to come below and you want to place your dirt down. So we're going to place one on top of the redstone dust. So it should be in between the pistons and the railway tracks. Then we're going to come across four. And then come across four again. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to fill this center part in with dirt. Like so. Now you want to come to your middle block and get rid of that middle block. We're going to come underneath and place a slab in. Grab your water bucket and we're going to place the water in the center like so. Next you want to grab a hoe and we're going to break or we're going to crop every bit of dirt underneath each observer, not the pistons. This part you need to do correctly. So under each observer, we're just going to left click on each of these dirts. So you should see these in a sort of like checkered pattern like you've done above. So you've got this sort of checkered pattern on the dirt like you have with the observers. Next we're going to grab our seeds and we're going to place six of each. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Now you don't have to plant six of each. I mean if you wanted to just have pumpkins it can all be pumpkins or just melons it can all be melons. It's entirely up to you but I like to have a mix of each on mine. So I'm going to do six of each seed. Now you want to grab your glass and you want to come to this area in the corner and place two blocks on the end like so. And then we're going to build these all the way across. So it's surrounding the dirt completely. So all the way across the bottom like so. And then we're going to do the same for this layer. This will just stop any spiders getting in and ruining the crop. So next we just need to place our torches down. So we're going to place one in the middle there. One in the middle there and there and the same again on this side. Next what you want to do is grab your minecart and hopper and place this down. So how this farm works is every time your plant grows the observer notices the change in that block. That activates the piston around that observer so wherever the pumpkin or melon will grow every piston around that observer will fire and crush it. What that will do is it will break it and it will land on the dirt then this minecart and hopper will come across pick it up deposit it into this hopper which will end up in this chest below hopefully you found that useful guys if you did leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel thanks to everyone who subscribed so far we've well over 3,000 subscribers now and i can't thank you all enough if you are new remember we have got a discord server feel free to join i'll put a link to it down in the description and if you have any questions about this build, leave them down in the comments below. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Peace.